Yo, yo, we out here on the train tracks, you know the vibes, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video and um, just wanted to say, remember to regulate your internet use and your phone use and all that, because we don't know the long-term effects of like us having our phones like at our fingertips for so long, you know, like we can wake up immediately get on our phone and spend like 10 hours a day on our phone on the internet we don't know the long-term effects of having all this information at our at our fingertips you know like my generation we grew up with the internet just as like kind of like something that was always there you know i'm part of the younger generation but the older generation they didn't have that you know they had books they had newspapers they had the radio they had tv but they didn't have the internet and phones so they didn't have it constantly at them you know and to be fair their society wasn't so like fixated on everything being online or everything being on phones or you know like they had a culture of go outside go hang out with your friends leave the parents alone all day like just go do your thing you know our culture on the other hand just <clears throat> it's uh just look at your phone all the time basically it's uh when you see someone on the street don't even say hi to them just look at your phone so you don't have to make eye contact with them because that's going to give you anxiety you get what i'm saying like we don't know the long lasting effects of having so much information at our disposal. Like, probably in a day, we get to see more information than most people did hundreds of years ago, like for their entire lives. Like, we just have this at our fingertips, on call, at any moment, we can just immediately go on our phones and just find anything but the thing is most people are not using their phones to just go on and find anything i can speak from experience and i can speak from what i see but most people just go on their phones and basically numb their brains out like it's it's like a like a drug basically also look at this if you remember my last video where some animal was like in the background. He was he was on this bitch. Anyways. Yeah, we don't know the long-term effects. Like my uh my generation specifically, we have a bunch of people that are nicotine addicts because of jewels and cigarettes. I mean, there was a bunch of work being done to like get rid of cigarettes. And that was going great, you know. Teens had the lowest smoking um lowest smoking percentage by population in so long and then boom vapes came <laughs> jewel came you know and everybody's smoking again so like i said we have a lot of people on jewels we have a lot of people smoking weed we still have obviously alcohol culture that's not something that's really ever gone away since like the dawn of time we have coffee addicts because you know now there's a Starbucks and a Dunkin' everywhere. So you have all these things that are hyper stimulating. All these things that just, uh, in, in a sense, numb the brain. And on top of that, you put in one of the most addicting things ever, which is cell phone. Now we don't know long-term effects of that we know that like if you drink coffee too too often too long you can get adrenal fatigue which is basically where that is not where the adrenals is that's your thyroid <laughs> i'm bugging but um yeah it's where your adrenal gland basically just it's it since it's uh overacted you know constantly releasing cortisol because you know um coffee stresses you out constantly releasing cortisol constantly releasing adrenaline then eventually you get adrenal fatigue where that shit just basically shuts down and you're bogged down for a little bit 
but I'm not a doctor so or, or a scientist so you know that was a very layman type of explanation but my point is we know that too much coffee will do that to you with weed you can get uh cannabinoid hyper hypersectomy something basically chs search up chs weed and you'll know what i'm talking about where you can start vomiting because it's messing up with your cannabinoid system your your hormones get thrown a little out of whack we know that happens we know with nicotine you get like lung cancer because you're usually smoking nicotine so you get lung cancer or you also can get adrenal fatigue from that and with alcohol you know you shut down your liver and all that so we have studies on those but we don't have studies on the long-term effects of like like our phones just constantly being there or like the internet specifically you know because again i can only speak from experience and what i see but it is fucking hard to not spend all your like all your time like on the internet or to not spend all your time on the internet you know because like like i'll have problems where like i'll wake up and like i'll just immediately without even thinking of it conscious like just unconsciously open up reddit or like open up snapchat open up instagram open up like all of them youtube spend like all day doing that but yeah i know a lot of other people do the same thing and you know it's definitely person by person you know the responsibility ultimately falls on the person to um regulate their own use but when you have self i mean not cell phone but when you have social media uh social media um companies who spend a lot of money in order to make their product as addictive as possible studying human psychology studying everybody's tics everybody just anything you can about a person to get them more hooked then a lot of that responsibility goes on to the to the company it's not just the consumer ultimately still is at the end of the day the responsibility still is on the consumer to limit themselves but again you have these forces that are making it so where they're making it as hard for you to get off of it as possible i basically just want people to know and be consciously aware of the time you're spending on your phone the time you're spending on the internet and what it's doing to your mind you know i feel like and this has been said by older people but this could just be one of those like as you get older you start to you basically say the same things that people from other generations did because we know from like the beginning of time parents or grandparents will always complain about their kids not respecting authority or whatnot but from reports of like teachers and shit they have said that these this generation of kids is the most temperamental meaning just filled with anxiety constantly flip-flopping their emotions the the the, the worst attention spans they've ever seen as well just can't focus on anything i can see that when i like i have i have friends i can talk to and i can just see the moment their brain goes goes out you know or like goes to a different topic i can see it on most of my friends i have people in my life that are that i wouldn't say are too affected by it you know the, but these people also don't spend a lot of the time on the phone or on the internet or whatnot they're usually very family based and they have shit that occupies their mind so yeah a reduced attention span is what a lot of people are seeing um one thing that i've noticed is the inability to form one's own opinion that is one thing that comes with extended internet use 
um, extended internet use at a young age without someone helping them because you know we all have the great thing about the human species is we all have things that make us great but we also ha all have things that make us bad you know and that's why it takes all of us as a collective to keep each other up because something that i will have i will have never dealt with you know so it could be the defining thing about someone else's life uh, like the defining problem you know like for example let's say i've never had social anxiety let's just say i've always been a well-adjusted very uh yeah socially well-adjusted person and someone else is not i can help them not be so you know socially awkward or socially anxious i can help them and let's say that person that same person has always been really good with money and let's say i haven't been good with money that person could help me you know it's a given like we can all we can all help each other out because we all have things that make us great and all have things that make us bad you know we can that's why yeah we could just help each other out with that but with social media what i was trying to say earlier or with the internet um the inability to form one's own opinions because it's actually quite easy to uh propagandize a lot of people all you have to do is parrot an opinion online or say an opinion online or whatever say whatever you want and then hire a bot company or program bots yourself to just parrot that sentiment exactly and spam it everywhere boom and a lot of people because being on the internet is kind of like a passive thing you know it's like something like if you're just waiting at a doctor's office you just like turn on your phone or whatever and you turn on whatever app since you can do that and you're not consciously like digesting all the information then shit just goes into your subconscious unfiltered and then starts to become your opinion i've had this happen where someone will say something in passing and i will not have paid attention to it but then weeks later i will come tell them about said thing and they'll be like yeah i mentioned that weeks ago or you ever had it where you've you know you've come up with an idea and then someone or someone tells you or you find out that it has actually been come up with before and then you start to remember like oh yeah i actually read that before or oh yeah i saw that same thing with social media and the internet some lie online gets into the brain and because you haven't taken the time to digest it and critically think about it then that shit just gets in you you know and just it pollutes the stream if you if you may but yeah i feel like that's enough on this for right now you know i'll make another video and get more in depth on it but i just wanted to make this video because yeah it's much needed bro i'm not trying to see my entire generation just basically be on their phones like 10 hours a day you know i don't think that's good for us i gotta make this trek back up this will be the outro to my video me making this trek back up oh shit it's a tick All right, that's honestly the end of the video. And uh, deuces.